This ride is in Yamanashi from Izawa Onsen to the Fuji Lakes. The route starts at the hotel in Izawa Onsen, which had a cool taiko drum performance, which I'll put at the end of this video. Got a couple of punctures before the real start of the climbing. The ride goes over the mountains of Ashigawa before heading back up to the Fuji Lakes, passing Lake Shoji, Lake Saiko, and then Lake Kawaguchiko. Apparently, for some great views at the end of Mount Fuji, or so I thought. First stop was just a few kilometers into the ride, the Ukayama Omnio Temple. This temple is from the sect of Nichiren. It's believed to have first been built in 1390. During the Heian period, a fisherman from the Fuefuki River broke the fishing rules set by the Lord and was in turn executed for this. After the execution, the Ukai ghost appeared and harassed the locals at night. Nichiren Shonen and his disciples carried out a number of ceremonies and the Ukai ghost was placated. The ceremonies are known as the Ukai Song. Questionable livery on that car on the left. Along a lot of the routes are vineyards. Yamanashi is famous for shine muscat grapes. They're pretty delicious, I have to say. This section here is on Route 36 by the Woodstock Country Club. The descent is pretty nice through some small Japanese onsen villages. This is Naka Ashigawa. At the end of Route 36, I turn left onto the 358, and from here it got really quite unpleasant. The views were average, and there were loads of trucks. This was exacerbated at the top of the climb by Lake Shoji. There's this really long tunnel with loads of trucks just bombing past you. Very unpleasant experience, and a reason I doubt I would do this route again. How's this for bus stop of the week at Lake Saiko? Loses points because it doesn't have anywhere to sit. Has no cover either. Um, but th there is some vending machines to get some juice. And the countryside around here is pretty good. I'd say this is a six out of 10 maximum. After Lake Saiko, descend down to Lake Kawaguchiko. Tremendous views of Fuji on offer today. In fact, it's over 3,600 meters tall and I could only see right at the bottom of it. That said, it was still quite nice cycling on the cycle path around the lakes, even with no Fuji views. I think I'll give this route a 4.5 out of 10. Would have been a six, but then that tunnel was just awful. And now it's time for the Tyco drums at the hotel. Enjoy. Enjoy. 